Do you have SI joint pain? Do you have SI joint arthritis? Do you have SI joint stiffness? Do you have sacroiliac joint related leg pain? And if you do, are you looking for a simple exercise you can do to help mobilize or unlock that SI joint? If so, then this video is for you. So what exactly is the SI joint? We'll cover that. We'll talk about the SI joint ligaments and why that joint is so commonly affected. My name is Dr. Mark Dupuy. I'm a board certified chiropractic sports physician in Sanford, Maine, where we specialize in corrective chiropractic care. I started this practice and this YouTube channel with a twofold mission to help individuals and families get better and stay better without drugs or surgery and to help athletes and teams perform at their best. To find a corrective chiropractor near you, visit idealspine.com and you can look up the provider directory. Before we dive into those exercises, let's take a minute to actually talk about what exactly the SI joint is. What is the sacroiliac joint? Well, here it is. You have two of them and basically they connect your ilium bones, what a lot of people think of as their hip, to the sacrum, which is a triangular bone at the base of the spine. And if you look closer at these joints, they're very rough, they're irregular, and they almost act like two separate joints when you look at the different angles. Now, this structure is pretty solid. It doesn't move as much as people think. Your SI joints don't move as much as people think, but the amount of movement they do have is important. Why don't they move much? Well, there's very, very thick, tough ligaments that connect the ilium to the sacrum. And some of these fibers even go up to L4, L5 in the lumbar spine. Think about the ligaments in your ankle. If you've ever rolled an ankle, how painful, how swollen it can be. Well, the SI joints are thicker and they're more, they're greater in number compared to your ankle joints. So this really is a pretty firm structure. So because of that, it's not unusual for the little movement that we should have to become restricted or locked up as often we are much more sedentary than we used to be. If, there, if we're moving actively throughout the day and there's a lot of leg swing, by the way, the joint here in the femorosa tabular joint, you have the joint capsule. So when we bring our legs forward, when we push off the ground, when we're doing deep squats, all of those movements should be creating some movement in the SI joints. But because so many of us spend a lot of time sitting or driving, or maybe standing in one position for too long, it's easy for these joints to become locked up or fixated. So now that you know what the SI joint is, follow me to the rehab room where we'll go over a few simple things that you can do to unlock a stuck SI joint or to keep your SI joints moving well on a regular basis. Okay, this first exercise is very simple. You can do it first thing in the morning upon waking before you even get out of bed. I'll kind of demonstrate with the spine face down so I can kind of show you what the movement's gonna accomplish. We're gonna use the legs in gentle movements. And what that's gonna do, I'll show you in a minute, is that's gonna create a gentle shear pressure which can really unlock your SI joints. We do this face up, and basically, as you'll see me demonstrate in a minute, you basically just try to say how far down can you move one leg at a time. And when you alternate your legs, trying to stretch them further down the edge of the bed or the table or the bench that you're on, that induces a bit of that shear, which can really unlock an SI joint gently and simply. So that way, if you're locked up for however you've been sleeping or turning or moving overnight, that really helps to get things balanced before you even put weight on the ground. Here it is, it's really just basic. You start out face up, and then what you wanna do is dorsiflex your feet or have your feet in this position. And you'll see I'm just going to kind of gently try to see if I can reach one leg, make it a little longer than the other. And just by going back and forth like this, that can create that gentle shear pressure that can actually unlock or really help to mobilize your SI joint first thing in the morning. Go nice and slow. Make sure you get about 10 on each side. And then when you get up and out of bed, you should feel more mobility in your pelvis. The second exercise requires a little more work but you get a little more reward. You need an exercise mat or rug or something to protect the knees. This is what this one looks like. So this exercise is also known as the fire hydrant exercise. It's really good for mobilizing the SI joint, but it's also excellent at mobilizing your hips as well. 
This is a great exercise to do before you work out, before you walk, before you run, before you engage in any heavy lifting. So this is what it looks like. We're gonna get into the tabletop position. You're gonna bring your knees a little closer together. And then we just start making small circles. Try to almost right with your kneecap on the ground. Start small circles and then go larger. Try to do about five or 10 in one direction and then switch the direction. And then same thing, go to the other knee, start small, make bigger circles, and then reverse that direction. Try to do at least five or 10 circles in each direction. All right, so there you have two additional exercises that you can do to help mobilize the SI joints. If you have SI joints that tend to get stuck or sore, you can do these on a daily basis. Again, one before you even get out of bed. So start with those face up kind of leg shearing exercises. We've got the tabletop fire hydrant exercises. And then if you're looking for more, go back to our previous video on one of my all time favorites, the standing SI joint mobilization exercise. I hope you find this video useful. If you do, please hit subscribe. And that way you'll be the first to see what we drop in the future. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day.